Hey guys, Gamer here. I'm going to show you my little, uh, probably wondering why I'm looking at the uh, toilet. So I'm going to show you my cool mod. Yep. This is the uh, GBA, uh, big GBA mod. It's like, really cool. It's not done. So, yeah, it's cool. So if you look here, it's a DS light. It's just the bottom screen. Uh, D-pad. Silver D-pad. A, B, Y, X, start, select, uh, volume, switch, start, uh, D-pad, uh, power, stylus, uh, the old button's missing because, uh, because of the epoxy and because of the uh, hot glue and all that, but I put here, the LED, LED modded, via Majora's, uh, LED mod diagram, which is very thankful. I'm very thankful about. It's very nice and easy. So I had a little trouble with the uh, when I was packing it in and all that. So like even here, you see, I had to cut out this part to actually get it in. So yeah, and here's a slot one pack Ace card from uh, uh, from Sneak Sneak X Attack Next Man. It's really nice. Our button. Here's a little thing I did for the uh, microphone, which. I haven't put in yet. Um, I'll have to, have to order one to because the one I had broke to put here. So it's really easy to do because you just have to take out this and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. And here's the slot EZ Flash 3 in 1. So we'll go and start it off for you guys. Uh, yeah, this was a very fun mod overall. So yeah. So it like turns on blue LED, you can see it right there. So yeah. And also because I flash to NOR, it's this. You can flash games to NOR and they you can pretty much use them without having slot one. Just this. And the save as well, which is pretty handy. I'm not sure if that drains out the battery. Um yeah. But the only issue with this is that if you turn the brightness up here, this will shut down several times and then you have to take out the module, the Wi-Fi module and all that to... so let's start the flash cart Ace cart so here um, since I'm using a DS flash cart I can play DS games it only use the bomb screen which is really nice the three Castlevania games uh, various homebrew and I can play perfectly GPA games using no emulation, all that kind of stuff, no slowdowns using this little thing which is very useful I can also flash some games to Noor. So, like, if we take here, uh, Castlevania hack that some guy made, where you can play as different characters, as like Mario, Julius, Mega Man, all sorts of stuff. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, um, click on Start here. Go to Properties. You can, see you can flash to Noor. Pretty much flash the game, so if you could do it, flash to Noir, yes. It's gonna erase the, um, it's pretty much gonna erase the game that's, that I flashed previously and install the new one with the save, so it's pretty handy. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if you flashing the Noir every single time actually drained the battery of the EZ flash. Maybe it does, I don't know. Uh, so like, yeah, if it, if it drains it or not, but yeah, this is pretty cool, uh, so yeah. The only problem I had with this mod was actually trying to put the stuff in the case, it was only two wires. I haven't included speakers internal, um, because I wanted this mod to be as simple as possible, and the LED was the simplest mod, so and the other one I was kind of worried it might have. Even if I had help from Akira with diagrams for um, how to uh, add a speaker and all that kind of stuff that he did. But, yeah. I can use headphones like here, which is pretty cool. Or I can use this nice audio amp I put together, like two minutes, like nothing. His own battery pack and all that. So, I can show you. So yeah, here's Mario, here's Julius. Let's go for Mario. <laughs> Check it out. It's me, Mario. <laughs> it is me, Mario. And I'm in Castlevania, bitches. <laughs> yes. Ah, you like that? 
And I like him in Castlevania game, yes? Take that knife, bitch. Take that knife, bitch. Take that knife. Yeah. Take that knife. Yeah. So yeah, you can do all sorts of cool things. And also you can add also frames too, which I found these net from some guy. You just put them in the uh, frame section of your flash card, whatever, and it'll work. I'm not sure if you can make your own ones, but that'd be pretty cool. Like for each individual game, like, uh, let's see, uh, Pokemon, Mario, Golden Sun, Zelda, Metroid, lots more. So yeah. Um, I've turned the brightness to like three. And if I try and set it lower than that, the system will actually turn off and then it won't turn on. Uh, for a flash card, if you make a mistake, you have to manually do it by inserting it into Windows and going into the uh, backlight config fold f t to text file and actually changing the brightness. Uh, if you do a system thing, you have to actually take out the battery and pretty much take the Wi Fi module and just stick it back in. And that actually resets it, so uh, yeah. I was also um, inspired by a Curious Mod, the GPA Reloaded. I really liked it. Um, I was actually at some point intended to buy it, uh, but because the price was too high, I didn't. And, and because I really liked the way he did it, he well, he he didn't. Yeah, he used the DS bottom screen uh, R4 flash card and uh, he's at Flash 3. In a similar way that I did. Um, I mean, he did the similar thing, and, but instead of using, like, I didn't use speakers and all that, he did. Two speakers, one at the back and one all that. And the DM, in the Game Boy, it's like a pretty cool DMG thing, so. So, like, here, Mars getting whipped his ass, and kicked, yeah, yeah. yeah but George's diagram is pretty cool, so, really pop the box, so. Let me show you the, uh, let's get the boot. Here's the uh, connector for connecting any headphone jack of any system to this into an external sound and it will work. Which I didn't know. Yep, I had no freaking idea. So, not until. So, yeah. Let's so plug it in. So, yeah, here's a cool theme of Miku. Uh, yeah, so. You can also play DS games like Three Castlevania games, Portrait of Ruin, Dawn of Sorrow, Ecclesia. You can also play Zelda Spirit Tracks, which is pretty cool. Uh, I can't play every single DS game, but the ones that don't use the top screen, they'll use the bottom. If I had a pretty microphone for those two games, which I have to install. So let me boot you. Portrait of Ruin. You or Ecclesia. I like Rural Ecclesia much better. So, let me plug in the sound speaker. It's pretty cool. So It's better than internal. Because internal would be kind of hard to like model that. I know that Zach has done it. Uh, uh, Kira has done it. And probably others have done it too. So yeah. So yeah, now it's turned on. It's controlled by here. Let's turn it a bit. That's too loud. It's not about there. Okay. Now, let's go for Ecclesia. I also like the fact that it has a blue light because it gives it like nice little black and all that. And also the button makes it. There is a mod, so yeah. I do have a fix for the L button through. Um, I'm going to take a little home button from a Wii remote, stick it there, probably hot glue it. So yeah, you can press it down because the text switch is way too small. It's not like you can take a normal text which is bigger and just fold it on there, so yeah. So yeah, here's the... And this is really cool because I really like both, all the Castlevania games for the DS. I'm not sure if you can link... Uh, don't have sorrow with area of sorrow. I mean to get the features from it, but that's kind of cool. So, so 
yeah, I think this is a big bonus using instead of using just a simple GPA for the GPA games, which is kind of limiting. You can also use some DS games, Homebrew, and whatnot, and applications too, like Moonshell and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool right there. <clears throat> Let's start a game here. Uh, it's an Albus file. So, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Take that. And what's cool is I can, since it's a touch screen, I can use touch screen. So, let's see, Albus, he has this. Yay. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, the only problem I think with this. Is the LED brightness? Like if you, if you if you make it too high, it'll actually shut down. So you have to be kind of careful about that. I mean, what you set it to and all that. Like, I think two uh, brightness, one, two, three is okay. So yeah, just that's the only problem with it. Other than that, it's cool. It's like playing a DS without a top screen, which is pretty cool. I think it's cool. So like, ever since I did this mod, I've been like playing it nonstop. It's like really cool. And fun too. So yeah. Um go back. Ness, Ninja Graphics, Ness. Ness is sucks by the way. Lame boy, you've probably seen it in um curious of videos, so I'm not gonna show you that. Ness, you've probably seen it. Ninto graphics, you've not seen that. Let's see, let me show you. This emulator is basically a PCSX Turbo X emulator. That can play those games and Super CD games, which is so cool. In my opinion, what makes it rad. So, and you can run it from the bottom screen. So yeah, here's select CD ROM. So I can select BIOS. I have all these BIOSes right here. Um, I've got Japanese, US, blah blah blah. So here's a Super CD. What you do is first you set the BIOS, the card, whatever, for Super CD games. For just Hugo PCSX, you just select the normal game PC and it loads up. Uh, some games don't work, like Bloody Wolf is a Super CD game. They don't work. So here's a uh, Dracula game. A Kamajo Dracula X Chibi no Rooney. And you see it's the... It's the... Uh, it's the Bond of Blood, basically, for the Japan, which is really cool. It has Marie inside and all that kind of cool shit. Yeah. The Super Nintendo port Dracula X sucks. Nothing compared to this. So this is the real shit. And I'm glad this thing can play it, and it plays it very well. So yeah, let's load it up. Just do that, then you go back, and you press start, and it loads. Yeah, this is just really cool. I think this is the only, um... Yeah, this is... This is the only reason, I think, why. Not the only reason, but this is one of the reasons why I would. This gets a plus for me. To play this game. Because there are other millions you can't do that, so... Well, not yet, anyways, but... This does, so... That, that's a big bonus for me.